Hi, good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, I'm Manuela from Goteo Foundation. This is the platform, uh, civic crowdfunding platform. And uh, this is uh, Mauricio O'Brien, and he's the co director of the foundation. Uh, so, just to introduce you the, the session of today, uh, we mm, will present uh, uh, the model of crowdfunding from, by Goteo, uh, Gote, uh, crowdfunding by Goteo, actually. And then uh, we will have a, a little talk with Domenico Di Siena, okay, which you <laughs> already know, who already knew, you know. And then uh, a little bit uh, just an in talking about uh, match funding and other concepts related to our platform. And then the Menti, which is uh, what you say in the, in the screen, uh, this is a, a sort of survey. Uh, so you can uh, evaluate uh, our session and other concepts, okay? The, mm, I will remind you later. Okay, thank you. Ma, um, hi, very, um, good morning, everyone. I'm, as Manuela just said, I'm Mauricio O'Brien, co-director of, of crowd, the crowdfunding platform and much funding platform for social impact project. Uh, we are based in, in Spain. We actually are a decentralized organization that we have uh, different bases in around uh, Mallorca, Barcelona, Madrid, and myself in Asturias. I'm going to uh, shortly, briefly introduce what it's the, all the foundation about. Uh, the idea that we've got as an organization, we are an op open source DNA, you know, from scratch. We hybrid as much as we can with different proposals that has been going on for the for the last years and we. We try to think as the process of, of crowdfunding, something that it could easily be done, not to compete, but to cooperate you know, as much as you can, especially within, within communities. Because the complex issues that we, we, that we tackle need solutions that are combined with the community. We are open to the possibilities. We try to work as a network with different institutions, different proposals, different entities and different structures to find out what's the conversations about. We have to talk about what we could do together and we, how we, we could bring in solutions into those complex problems. Our, found, our sort of background in 2009, well, 2009 it, it became, an, we had an hypothesis, okay, how could the crowdfunding be help help uh, the crowd benefits. We are a non-profit organization that run the actual structure. And in our point of view, what we do is we fund we fund different projects as an excuse for them to fuse their community, to be more 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 coherent and more conscious. Especially when we're talking about collaborative economy, it's one of our one of our main bases, no? that commitment that you got with your community, your co-responsibility when you're, you're having a project and we, when you want to launch it and you want to finance it especially. So at the, end of, at the end of the day, sometimes the funding part is just an excuse for us because what is relevant is that we unite to, for a purpose. We expand, we, we somehow in 2009 when it was the first idea came up, that weak signal that really brought us, up, brought us up to now, give us an idea of what we could actually do. We had to explore the other way, you know, something different, something that it, it could be proposed in an innovative way. And 2011, we launched the first beta of Godeo. Following that hypothesis that I was mentioned just a moment ago, how crowdfunding be compatible compatible with the actual crowd benefits. If we think about it, basically, it's just finding a, sp a small spot. You know, it's a place in which you combine digital spaces with objects, initiatives, throughout collective donations, you know. On the crowdfunding side, it's working with the community. And on the match funding side that I mentioned before, it's working with institutions that they could double up donation from in, in crowdfunding projects. Taking in stake the European report in 2014, they considered that most of the, most of the crowdfunding, uh, crowdfunding platforms, they were based on alternative or for profit. You know, it's like literally a very strict contrast. 
motivation that the, from, from the different users in that European uh, report said, okay, a few factors, transparency, legitimacy, cooperation, and solidarity. We've been working through like sort of the, those four pillars, developing open data through our stats that are public, that are transparent. The legitimacy is throughout the impulse that we have thanks to the community, you know, like that they're committed and they go for a minimum and an optimum finance as a sort of co-responsibility. Co Cooperation throughout crowdsourcing, especially with the community, and different tools and initiatives that we actually work as, for example, the match funding part. The solidarity is the social impact of every single project that comes through our platform. There, ha there has to be a co social commitment so they could pledge for money. That's the very, very fir first basic. But bear with me a second. The proposal obviously starts from the promoters. You know, the projects go very, very fast, very, very indirect. They, they've got a pilot driver in which they're convinced what they could actually get to do. When we think about that situation may be risky, you know, focus, very, very competitive, you know, so for an objective. If we think about it from the point of view of an institution, of a much, fu much funding call, we may think, okay, that institutional mission, you know, it's a big, huge carrier that wants to take goods from a point to another point throughout efficiency. They have a very clear minded that no matter what the risk is, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna put myself in a position where I could be in danger because I have to do something good. I've got a responsibility, you know? So let's put it that way. We're working on, th uh, on a third sort of institution and figure in which is the actual matcher, okay? Private institutions so that it could be more agile, okay? And they ally with the actual community and institutions to develop projects. You know, it's a new sort of approach that we wanna work. If we think about it as, as our institution, we're a big, huge toolbox, okay? At first, when I'm mentioning that first research, research for the hypothesis answer in 2000, 2009, we thought, okay, we came up with one of the structural tool, which was the, the actual website. But there was way more in that toolkit that actually gave us infrastructure that made us a foundation. It actually gave, gave us that huge, big box of other tools that it could be fitted, and well, I could mention methodologies of participation throughout the founders of, of Odeo, specific training programs, match funding itself, it's one of the tools. We would say constant civic innovation, it's a core in our DNA because we're open and we're sort of trying to make as much dialogue possible for that participation within institutions. But for the general public, we're just a, a, uh, a website. That's it. We're a platform that it's basically a website. We're part of the, uh, the platform economy. We talk about finance. We talk about communities around our, our, our finance. Yet we have a social chip. I, I won't make, you know, I, I'm not gonna make the list of, you know, my shopping list, but this is the type of projects that they actually participate with us. That's their commitment. They have to choose one in which they consolidate their proposal, okay? Could be solidary, it could be educational, it could be ecological, it could be research or open data, for example. But we live in cyberspace. Cyberspace is just complex, it's abstract, it's something that is there, you know, that it, be, that it could be interesting, but there's a lot of things going on around projects. We have communities, we have the promoters, we have the donors, we have other type of institutions around them that could actually help us. The types of users that, 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 that participate in the, in the actual web throughout those promoters, it could be very, very different. As different associations or unions, an individual promoter, you know, a cop member, cooperatives, or a female entrepreneur. We are very, very glad that if we put it in a Spanish context, 30% of, of, of the entrepreneurial sort of projects are female-driven, female okay? And the 70% is male. In our case, in Goteo, it's 50-50. 50% 50, 50, 50 women, 50% men drive the projects. So it's a, it's a great factor. We think that it's not just about the actual project itself. It's like what I mentioned, building community and sometimes being at risk in situations in which other institutions may not 
be capable of, 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 of putting themselves. I'm going to put you in a very complex situation, okay, happening in the cities. We have the city of Barcelona has a problem with the uh, street sellers. They say you fake brands, you know, and there it's a critical issue because they want to make a living. And the city hall needs to regulate because they have a pressure, because they have a situation, and they do what they can. There's a conflict directly between that need and solving that issue, you know, and it becomes sort of hardcore, you know. The policy comes in, there's a factor in which, you know, they're having a hard time. But what if those ingredients that, that is there, we change the position and we make a proper change? You know, that situation which there's a need, what could we solve throughout crowdfunding? And this is where uniting as a community and creating a new scenario, those sellers became a union, okay? Became a union for strength to give a word, not just the tons of, of persons that are street sellers, just one voice, strong voice. And they decided to create a project, which it was even a hacking this, the, the actual situation. They created their own brand, you know, and they pledged for the money. So this is where the, 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 the relevance, especially of a project, could be shown in, a, in, in the most extremist way somehow. That situation with with uh, with Domanta, which is the, sort of the, the name of the the actual project, gives us a, gives us a, one of the hints of something that we've been working for a long time. When we were talking about projects coming into into our, our website, there's more than 1,200 projects up to, since 2011 to to today. It's, it starts from that very beginning. Okay, promoters, donors, citizenship. They start scaling up aware of that critical issues of projects, social projects that there, that there is going on. They engage with their community. They empower by donating. It's not a, I like it, no, it's not a vocation, it's just I'm putting part of my money into a project that I like, and I want to, them to succeed. Therefore, we scale up and we, talk, we could talk about a crowdvocacy in which decision making come in. Okay, and even we could take it to a higher scale, you know, of, of dialogue. Happens the same thing with, with the digital platforms like the CIDIM or the CIDE or even the platform with Civio. In our case, we try to do a lot of debate, open debate within our, our community, validated by the proposals and the use of our, our, of our actual platform. We're working in other participatory ways on democracy, on demo, doc, democracy projects and initiatives because we want to combine that decision making within funding, you know. And there's a silly comparison, and let me put it this way. The decision-making time frame in the in Decide and the decision-making at Goteo, okay? When you have a, a decision-making in Decide, if you know the case, it takes one year, okay? The decision-making in Goteo, it's seven times faster seven times faster because you have 40 days of campaign or maximum 80 days. So, you know, there's a sort of very, you know, great stuff there. And this is where much funding comes in. What happens with institutions if we're talking with social innovation projects? You know, if we talk about social, which, their res which, which could be their responsibility? And how could we help them to work with us? You know, this is where we came up with that idea that Open, of that weak signal that we thought, okay, there's something that we have to do to change that, you know, sort of question. What would, could we do? Much funding came in in which institutions could call community, could call talent, okay? They really want, they really want to support talent throughout the different areas in which they're working, whatever it's their mission. We complement what it is. They call the crowd, okay, the donors and the, and the promoters itself, and we actually activate that participation through our funds that the institution may put by doubling any uh, citizen's don donation to a project. Different types of institutions that have been working with us. We've been doing 16 match funding calls since 2013 with different types of institutions, from local to regional, from uh, private, ma private foundation, or even within companies that they wanted to sort of, you know, help other, other projects, and you know, it's just a way in which we could combine. 
maybe they're organized on a European level, you know, or maybe they're organized on a national level, or is it private driven within a mission that they've got and participation is crucial for them. Other, in other cases, it's just part of the corporate social responsibility, you know, we can think. But instead of me telling you what crowdfunding or the project could be, you know, bear with me a second, the best thing is talk about the project itself. Therefore, Domenico is here for, uh, uh, for us to be, you know, like I guinea pig, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and he's gonna, we're gonna sort of start a small debate with him, uh, questioning a few things in which we want to sort of have a nice talk. He has, he has two projects, okay? He started with a civic practice one. That was the first one that we actually started collaborating. We knew ourselves for a long time, Domenico. And there was a, another second project that he actually pushed, okay? And they developed with CivicWise, both of them. I'm gonna just make a small introduction of the video of this actual second campaign, so it could give us a first in intro, and then we just go first. And we go first. So, big applause to Domenico, please take the stage. <laughs> and Manuela is, my colleague Manuela, she's here. Thank you. So, it is the time. Ask Domenico. <laughs> We've opened a section in our presentation, ask Domenico. <laughs> okay, so ask Domenico. <laughs> so why did you choose, oi? Why did you choose uh, Goteo instead of other crowdfunding platform? Yes, um, I use it uh, first because the social uh, approach and the open approach the Goteo has. So for me, it's really important that uh, uh, it's not just using a tool, but uh, using uh, this tool I am uh, endorsing. Uh, also, a different way to understand how uh, developing a platform as uh, Goteo. So, this is really important for us. So, the social innovation approach, open culture approach, and ah, see microphone. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Sorry. See. <laughs> sí. Okay. And how do you think uh, uh, can uh, sharing economy can benefit from crowdfunding? In your opinion. Um, I didn't understand the question. Okay. How can the sharing economy can take some advantage from crowdfunding campaign ah, okay. or for some, you know, yes. from the, this format of funding? Yes, I think uh, um, um, a lot of time we have uh, good ideas or we have uh, the um, opportunity to start uh, something new. So, um, but uh, in general, as person, we are not really aware about the economical part. 
and we think it's really, really difficult to get uh, funding uh, from different uh, ways. And uh, I think the crowdfunding is um, um, one of the most interesting ways to start uh, new projects, and especially in this idea to promote sharing economy. Uh, at the same time, it's really important to understand that uh, it's something that uh, you really need to work w uh, on it. It's not something that uh, uh, this idea that you put some project in, in the platform and uh, magically the project is funded. But uh, for all these uh, projects that want to develop something new that uh, has a sense uh, in, with community and in communities, so specifically sharing economy, uh, has a lot of sense to use the, the crowdfunding uh, approach to start the, the process. And so with the experience that you, had, uh, with, with, that you have with two campaigns, with two crowdfunding, do you think this experience can uh, help you uh, to uh, bring together your community in such a way? Yeah, so we, we, uh, we should say actually that uh, the project that we are talking about are projects that are promoted by a, a community. Mm -hmm. Uh, community slash uh, network, network called uh, CivicWise. So there were before the um, pro projects this uh, network, this community. But uh, I think the, um, the crowdfunding helped a lot to um, get the community focused on the, the project. So when you have a huge community and you start to have uh, different projects, mm -hmm. So it's difficult to get uh, focused the, the, the network, the community, in a specific project. So what we get is this idea that, okay, we are, we are doing something important. So all the network and the, all the community was really endorsing and helping the, the project. And then at the same time, uh, that help, uh, helped us to get uh, growing the, the community because we get the opportunity to each member of the network to talk about what we are doing mm -hmm. and uh, giving the opportunity to their friends, their family and their uh, colleagues to uh, actually get closer to our approach and um, talking about a specific project that in this case was a book. And when they were really um, uh, um, interested on the, on the project, they, they can even found it. So, I think it's really important also to take in account this, um, let's say, communication or um, networked uh, approach that uh, in a platform as um, Goteo you can get when you promote a project. Mm -hmm. So you, I think you already uh, answered to my <laughs> next question. But um, actually, it was interesting for the civic design book for the second project. Uh, so uh, apart from the beyond the funding, uh, I mean, it provides you um, uh, community, no? Did you spend the community? Did you, for example, did you, what else provide you? I mean, in terms of... Yes, the, the second one, so we had two projects. The Civic Practices uh, was a book about uh, uh, civic practices all around the world. And there was a, um, a collaborative book developed by the Civic Wise Network. And the second one is really interesting because it's uh, promoted by CivicWise, but at the same time was the first project that uh, uh, helped us to uh, get, get up a new institution we are creating from uh, CivicWise that is called Civic Innovation School. So uh, again, it was uh, an opportunity for us to talk about uh, Civic Innovation School through a new project that was really, really simple, which is a, a book. So in this, in this, in this uh, project, so when we started the um, crowdfund campaign, actually what we achieved was to get the Civic Innovation School uh, known. So people understood, they heard more about this uh, new project that, was, uh, that were new. At the same time, we promoted the, um, the uh, uh, so far, the most important project of the Civic Innovation School, which is a, a civic design course. So we promoted as well the, the course. And then, actually, um, we had the network effect that I, worked, uh, I talked before. So it was a really win, 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 <laughs> win. And we are really happy because uh, maybe uh, the final win now is that uh, uh, we are seriously thinking about the idea to create a sort of uh, edition, 
yeah, edition, uh, I don't know, it's company, but edition project. So we can ed edit each year a new book. And uh, we are seriously talking about how we could finance this. And um, you know, well, you know, well, who know Goteo knows that uh, we are very interested in the, another phase. I mean, what happened after the funding of a project, of a campaign, of an initiative. So, um, can, for example, in your experience, after the first campaign, because the, the second one is really is new, uh, the, can you define some indicators of uh, impact or, or success, actually? Um, Actually, the, the first uh, project was also related to the um, first uh, physical meeting of the network. So, uh, a first impact uh, was that uh, um, the, the book uh, allows uh, us to better organize uh, the second one, the second, the second physical meeting. Uh, so I don't know if we could talk about impact in this sense, but for us it was really, really important uh, because um, actually uh, having something concrete as a book uh, was uh, giving us uh, the opportunity to be connected with people that usually don't use a lot, uh, maybe, maybe uh, social media or they don't um, are really connected with this idea to uh, be an organization that is not really an organization but a network. So uh, the, the impact was the possibility to create new, new meetings. And now we are uh, starting the organization on the fifth, fifth, uh, fifth uh, meeting. Uh, so one, this is one of them. And what do you think is your role uh, in the ecosystem? In this ecosystem you are yes. a part of. Do you think there are some? There is something you have to uh, work better or improve better to? You mean personally or? In yeah, a... for the project. I mean, in the like civic wise or civic innovation. I mean, which is your role? You think? I think uh, um, there is um, something really difficult. Uh, and we, we could improve is the, the, the way or the process we have to take in account uh, when we want to go from a simple project to a real, a real uh, sustainable project, okay. especially in terms of a network approach. So we are a network and we have all the time this problem about uh, a legal form and how we manage the um, the money and the, so how we, we get funding and how we manage the money and then when we have the, fir the first prototype how we could have a final uh, structure that help us to keep uh, uh, as a network mm -hmm. but at the same time act as a company yeah. so it would be interesting for instance talk with more to with you yeah, uh, about <laughs> this uh, further step oh, further step yeah yes. Um, and do you think you don't have this experience, not yet, <laughs> yeah. but uh, with much funding, but do you think is, uh, w w which are the advantage of uh, receiving uh, much funding support from an institution for an initiative like yours, for example? Uh, I think there is, uh, or, uh, one is really important uh, to me is that uh, uh, you are uh, offering the opportunity from the beginning to uh, get connected with other institutions. Mm -hmm. So uh, this idea to, sometimes there is this idea to be a sort of hero that uh, try to develop a project yeah. and is struggling to get funding and uh, at the end they get funding. And we don't understand that uh, if you want to be, ex ex uh, if you want to have success in your project, you need to connect with other uh, institution, with other people. So the match funding is at the beginning uh, that. And then there is for me uh, something really interesting is this idea to also uh, go uh, be, um, further on this connection between public and private or mm -hmm. uh, civic or commons and uh, private and public. So what we are proposing with the match funding is uh, something uh, that I love because it's really practical because mm -hmm. we are but talking really. about money, but at the same time behind you are an engagement which is really solid by some company or some uh, public uh, institution. And also legitimacy yeah, and exactly. also legacy, no? There were exactly. a lot of uh, value. And so about amount of this, uh, which, is your, which could be your strongest asset 
about all this, among all these uh, uh, advantages. I mean, I point to this. I, I will bet for this. Uh, you mean uh, match funding or, like or in match funding? In like match can, funding. I don't know. Transparency will be my strongest asset because our project, you know, is uh, is always yes. sharing or want to share, no? Or the legacy, for example, or the impact, or I want to is for the participation, for example, of my of a neighbor. I think uh, um, I don't know how to say in a simple word, but what is important. I think the, the, the main asset is that actually uh, when, when you start a match funding, you did a lot of work uh, that uh, improve a project. What I mean is a lot of time to get connected with, the, for instance, a public institution mm -hmm. or a huge company is really difficult. Yeah. Uh, so with the match funding, uh, you, uh, the bridge. You, may you make a bridge, a bridge. An, an amazing bridge that get some people directly in connection with uh, this uh, institution and that you are burning uh, a lot of steps yeah. that for uh, uh, people is really difficult to, to do. So I don't know how to say that in, in one no, word, but... But, uh, but I think it's, yeah. <laughs> it's quite clear. <laughs> okay, Domenico, we thank you very much. You're yeah, welcome. <laughs> and uh, we go on with, uh, you know, with Mauri. Okay. Hey again. You're still you're still here. Yay! Big time. <laughs> now, if you're still here, you're you will be questioning how does the match funding work? Okay. Why? What is the proposal? I wish this quote was mine. Okay. In the European region, week uh, three weeks ago, there was the chairman of N O N N E N O L. Okay, the European Network of Living Labs said in their speech. Challenges are really complex and we need interconnected solutions for common problems. It could be done thanks to innovative institutions with an agile response. Okay? That is my sort of, I wish it was mine, you know, that super phrase. Why? Match funding comes in as part of, the, of that agile solution. Okay? And we've got institutions there, their mission way ahead. How could we do it? You remember that carrier that I was showing you before? You know, heavy, with a with with a need of, you know, effectiveness, responsibility within their proposal. What does it, what could they achieve thanks to much funding? Implementing much funding campaign could give them more the legitimacy. You know, we could actually work with ethics purely. You know, the social projects that they're gonna fund. The social engagement, you know, crucial for a more mature culture within their community, okay? There's effective e e efficiency in the use of the resources, the funding of the, those resources, working with the community, and there, it's part of the social economy, purely, okay? Purely. What data, what data could we provide as a digital platform? We are a social fintech in the, in the very bottom, bottom line. Okay, we are digital, so we could, we could actually work with participation purely, we could talk about transparency, we could talk about that legacy that it's related to the social engagement, we could talk about learning communities around projects and knowing how could they could su succeed, or we could purely talk about economy, you know, different types of employment, social employment, social entrepreneurship, that in Europe, in Europe it's one of their crucial, crucial lines. This may sound very abstract, right? You know? I'm going to put you an example. City Hall of Barcelona decided with their own policy of social entrepreneurship, okay? They want to give support to those social entrepreneurs. They say, okay, I'm going to put you, I'm interested in calling talent, calling people into my sort of area of action and let them participate with me in my permission, okay? Let me scale up to that final mission. They were doing it in two aspects. The match funding call of conjuntament was made within the support of the actual, one of the entrepreneurial institutions that's backing up, you know, like entrepreneurship, okay? And the actual city hall. They were, they were giving to the community access as if it was a grant, say 96,000 euros, okay? Which is not much, it's not much, it's humble, 
you know, it's there. What happens? They're calling 24 projects to participate on the match funding call. They'll activate those projects throughout crowdfunding. And you actually double the donations, as I mentioned before. There was a call of, of Barcelona, you know, focus on Barcelona. The criteria of selection of those grants, it's public. It's a first phase where you're calling out for those projects to participate. More than 67, 67 proposals were sent. They were selected at the end, 23 of them. Okay, I mentioned that we were pledging for 24 projects. You know, so we couldn't find more talent. We thought, okay, 23 is okay. We, you know, top scoring, public scoring. What happened? Uh, the Goteo Foundation, within the, uh, the support of the Juntamen and Barcelona Activa, decided to give those funds. They were starting to donate to, donate to the projects. Over 2,600 people participated, donating in their projects. You know, in the different projects, the 23 projects I was mentioning. You know, um, and what does it help within crowdfunding? You know, it helps to succeed higher goals. You know, we may have the success rate in a normal, regular crowdfunding, crowdfunding campaign. It's the average since 2000, 2011, 75% of the projects that participate, they pledge for their money, they're successful. What happens with the support of match fund, when, when match funding comes in? With an institution, it's backing you up. Okay, it's giving you their support. And it's a sort of a quality thing, you know, like, yeah, I got the medal from that institution. The rates, the rates go up to 95, 95% in the case of Conjuntamen. 95% of the projects were successful at the end. You know? 22 of those projects were successful. Not everybody made it, I wish, you know. And the final picture, like after that, those 40 days campaign first, 80, four, 80 days campaign of much, much, in the case of the match funding, what happened in that moment? That space of participation and donation was actually summing up, you know, was summing up institutions, was summing up the crowds, and the final figure. It was the money that the, all the projects pledged was 230,000 euros. Okay, 40%, more than 40% was put by the institution, but the crowd backed up that proposal with the most, almost 60% of, of, the, of the money. So, yeah, it's good. You know, it's, I think it's really positive. But could we think on how the data and how relevant could be being transparent? Could we measure impact if we're, to, we're saying that we are social innovation, social innovation projects calling? Could we think even the districts that participate in Barcelona, what's going on? Or you may question, what's the success of a project? Which is the true meaning of success? Is it the money? No, it's not the money. It's the community. It's the project up and running. And a year after they get funded, we have knocking their doors and saying, hey, how did you do? Because you have a compromise and a commitment. You have a commitment within your institution, within the ayuntamen in the case, or the institution that's backing up that match funding call, and with us, because we are a foundation that we want to protect our community. And there's a legal factor that makes it co-responsible. Donators, promoters, institutions in different levels, and there we are. Data is crucial. And this is a map of participation. We are overlapping the maps of participation under the democratic areas that I was mentioning before about crowdvocacy, the CIDIM, okay? And the actual money that has been pledged in campaigns. So we have a very, very, very specific way of pinning information and obtaining results. Those results even could give us a map of heat of donations in the city, within the city. Or it could give us a timeline of our own success. What it does mean being agile. Our response to a project that could be successful by pledging money, we know it in the first week because data tells us, talks to us. We have the information of how it's going to evolve a campaign in a timeline. But it's not about just about data. 
It's by what's going after, what happens after. That is what hap happens after. That's the final picture that we want. Everybody that pledged in Conjunta Men, big event in which they had, they had an institutional support to present their, 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 their you know, their present themselves, you know, big act in the, in, the, in the actual city hall itself, one of the most important parts. The comments of Alvaro Porro, the responsible of the politics related to social economy within Barcelona. But let me translate it. You know, it's the Barcelona Municipality Commissioner for Social Economy and Local Development and Consumption said, Conjuntament created in 2016 with the objective of building projects in the collaborative economy framework that the municipality of Barcelona and Barcelona Activa ecosystem could continue working. You know, like, this is, an, this is an alliance. We are following up in parallel and working side by side. Side by side with the Ayuntamiento and with different institutions that have actually helped us. 2013 was the first one Universidad, the uh, University of Andalu International University of Andalusia. But we had local governments, the city hall of, of Zaragoza, the regional government of the Basque Country that has been doing it for three times for cultural projects so and it's not just local for Spain they were questioning oh but you do it here just in Barcelona no we are we live in cyberspace we could work with whoever we can because we're open source we want to help people to succeed wherever they are and for their and it's there is also responsibility I was mentioning before. There's re legal requirements. We're working with the European crowdfunding network to create that cluster about legisla legislation on a European level when we're talking about much funding. We did it with the support of the different institutions and we were working with them, and we actually presented it into the European European Parliament in April. And uh, luckily, we got a product like. Uh, pilot accepted throughout uh, funds from the structural European funds destined or focused on much funding. So given as a, as a pilot, and it was just said a couple, of, a couple of weeks ago in the European Regions Week. But it's not just about regulation, it's about what we do, which is our legacy, which is our mission as an institution. We want a print, talk about sustainable issues. We want projects that could talk with us on the social side, or projects that could talk about democracy, participation, pure par and raw participation, active participation by donation. And I'll, I left the last bit for, the, for, for the, 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 the cherry of the cake, the last bit. What does match funding bring? Match funding brings the participation of any institution in succeeding in the SDGs you know, by a very practical bottom-up proposals and activities. Anyway, I don't want to, you know, go on. I would just like you, if whatever information you may have got of this, of this, of this speech, there are a few questions that we would like to make you, okay? It's an open co co conversation. So... Okay, it's just... A very brief uh, survey that I, we ask you to fill in. Okay, this is the first question. In your opinion, which is the best advantage of the match funding format? Come to, on. You, you can change the... No? We, kn we know who's voting. Come on. Yeah, no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's going up, yay. <laughs> Come on, let's go for a bigger bet. The code. Five, six, nine, five, four, one. Code there, you got it at the top, okay? Okay, there's four already, come on, we give it a shot. 
Who wants to give it a, tr a bigger try? Okay. If not, we'll leave it with you. Don't worry. No rush. And oh, there we go. Hey, the thing changed. The advantages of match funding. What's winning? What's winning? Institutional support. Hey. Community participation. Hey, Domenico is going to like that one. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah. no one, no one in finance facilities. No, huh? no, nah, no, nah, nah. too complex, too complex. You have to choose. You have to choose exactly. You have three options to. You can choose a maximum of three options of this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Con la aquí. Bueno, pero creo que I think you can do it. The next one already. So the, second the second question. Which keyword means impact or success for you in terms of a project, an initiative that you launch, or mm, an initiative in, in general, in general terms? In a keyword, which means impact. Okay, we have already a, uh, an answer. <laughs> Social impact. Come on, you could go do better. Come on, participate. <laughs> Empowerment. That the word of the century. Connecting comments and people behind them. Hmm. What, is, what are the comments? What's the pure raw comments? Good word. Last one. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> Oh, well, we we'll leave it here, okay? And we just want to finish. Thank you very much for the participation. We are not just us. We're not a digital. We are tons of people, 130. We represent 139 users that want to promote, donate, you know, give impulse to the actual projects because things could be done differently. We're not just about the money, okay? It's about the creating hope, giving different types of proposals related to social impact, to the community, and match funding bears their fruits if there's institutions out there. You know, it's 50-50, it's a perfect match. 40% of the funds that have been pledged throughout match funding has been put by the promoters, match funding promoters, and the citizenship 60%. So efficiency within funding, it's crucial, okay? If you want any other information, just write us, let us know, and we hope we could launch a bit of a debate. I think I've gone a bit overboard. And see you soon at Goteo. So. Who wants to launch a question? Now it's, come on, it's not a, mo a monologue. It could be. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, we, did, we did our best. <laughs> I, I will just briefly want you to um, uh, give us two more cents about uh, the importance of connecting with the United Nations uh, Sustainable Goals. Why or, 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 or how do you see this, uh, this approach? It's important. It's a very uh, selfish proposal when we want to do the SDGs part. Because we always said, okay, our projects have to create a social impact, no matter what. How could we measure it? You know? Or how could we participate with institutions to help them create social impact? Therefore, we went, the, the framework of the SDGs is a very abstract, general sort of frame set in which we actually, actually work with the bottom of proposals, identifying which are the points that they are crucial responding to the SDGs. Very, very, very specific in the SDG lists and SDG sort of proposals. We think about, and therefore, our mission as an institution, we want to create those prints related to, to, the, to the areas because we, we believe it's our mission. 
it's part of our mission. And helping, helping the projects to know which SDGs they, they'll follow, it helps us to succeed better and quicker to the SDGs goals, which is sometimes very complex to understand or bring them down to earth somehow. I hope I answered your question. Super. Some, somebody else? Uh, anybody at the back? <laughs> Go ahead. You get, you, have you got a, a microphone? Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. I think I, I was I was late, so don't I worry. didn't hear anything. Uh, well, it's everything. good that you're here. Yeah, don't, don't you. mean that, you know. So I don't know. Maybe you said, but on concrete projects. Yeah. And I may be selfish asking no. because I work on waste issues. Okay. Do you work on, on waste also? Do you have uh, we have projects circular that circular economy projects? Projects related to, to to recycling. Projects related to sustainability, education with kids and other foundations. We've never done a match funding campaign with a, with a subject as a sustainability. We want, so, you know, if there's anybody thinking about Urbacer, that it's there, or thinking about we've got contacts with different institutions in Europe, we're starting, you know, we're humble. We, we haven't got there yeah. yet. But, but that's we I think that's your strong point. Yeah, I could is. go to Urbacer and others, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you are linking citizens, and that's what yeah. I'm also, I work for NGOs okay. across Europe. And... Um, so going beyond only waste and how what to deal with there in technological way. Exactly. But what we can do and, and what you can do also is to link pe uh, people together and upscale the ideas that they have for waste prevention. This is Reuse, where repair. Repair, right. anything proposal. And we're, we're even, I'm going to take it forward. And, I, and my wish list, 2019 would be social impact. Maybe 2020 would be blockchain. You know, and connecting sustainability and recycling electronic material, probably, you know, something that could be identified with blockchain could help, you know, somehow. We're working on those, those scenarios. We're always inviting to, you know, talk, discuss, because we want to push it and we are very creative, even though we are talking about boring things that it's money, you know. So, yeah, we're good, we're good. Find me whenever you want and we talk about it. So it was a pleasure being here. Thanks to the organization and having us here, you know, doing our shit. <laughs>